Cause y'all got me fucked up. I'm not gonna pay for that. <laughs> What is up, y'all? It is your nurse, Bay Carly Ray, coming at you guys with a video. Hey, girl, hey, come on. Come on in and sit down. Have a seat, baby, because we about to have a time tonight. Today is your girl birthday. She's turning a big 33. So shout out to me for my birthday. But what I would really love is if y'all really subscribe to this channel. Like, if you know you like my content and you're watching me, then just hit the subscribe button it's it's free it's down below like i think like right here or over here either way like i said today's my birthday and we are headed to dallas we are going to dinner tonight well first we're going to the mall to go shop um of course y'all know me um and then we are going to dinner tonight and then after that we are um like the next day we are going to the cowboys game which the game is at 12. i have me cordell going um my aunt and her husband they're celebrating their uh anniversary it's on the 16th but they decided to celebrate it early um and go to the cowboys game with me so them two are going uh, my mom is going and avery is going we didn't take the other kids because we felt like they wouldn't have an appreciation for football and y'all I don't know if y'all have ever been to like a Dallas Cowboys game, but baby, those tickets are expensive. Hi, mama. Say, you gonna tell them that it's your mama's birthday? Hi, it's my mama's birthday. So what do you want to say? Mm -hmm. What you want to tell everybody about me? That um, you're going to go to whatever. You ain't gonna tell them how you feel? I feel good. You feel good? Yeah. Am I a good mommy to you? Huh? Yeah. Yeah, I'm a good mommy. Yeah. All right, y'all. But yeah, so um, we are all going to the Cowboys game. We decided not to take the younger kids because even at the little football games that we have now, child, they are like, we're tired. We're ready to go. This is boring. And baby, I'd be damned if I pay three, four, five hundred, six hundred some dollars for some kids tickets. And they talking about they bored at the game or they don't like it or they're ready to go. They're tired. They're sleepy. No, I want you to go when you have more of an appreciation for the game. So yeah. That is um, why the other kids aren't going. Right now we're at this gas station, honey, because y'all, baby, they did not need to do all that. We are at this gas station, and baby, they got Long John Silvers in like, do y'all, where y'all from? Do y'all still have like a Long John Silvers? Because Chandler, you gonna get your ass popped. I know where we're from, they closed down our, uh, Long John Silvers, but this Long John Silvers is part of like a gas station. Like, I'm like, what? So, y'all know I had to stop and get me some um some gas station food, honey, because who gonna keep it real and ghetto and cute and classy with this gas station food is me. That Long John Silvers from the gas station. It it's hidden, and the fries is fresh too. Baby, so we gotta I take probably got there. some crumbs on my shirt. Yeah, we gotta take them to Yesterland. Yeah, we gotta take them there because I always say I am, but I never get a chance to. You ain't got no number time now. Yeah, but yeah, just wanted to let y'all know. Gas station food be hidden. Y'all need to stop sleeping that on gas, gas station, station food. food. That That's is, a restaurant it, was, food. it was a restaurant attached to a gas station. But technically a restaurant on its own. No, baby. Y'all let me know. Is that is that still considered gas station food? Because I still think it is. Because ain't no, no way that it's a part of a gas station and, it, and not be called gas station food. Girl, bye. That's a Long John Silver's his own brand. It, it is. But it was attached. attached to a gas station. So they gas station the, food is. The, uh, Y'all, I don't know. 
I know not with the pants because the pants have this at the back. It's too low rise. But I like this top. My name. My bag. My bag. My name. My bag. My bag. Finally made it to this hotel room. We are staying at the Omni, y'all. And so when y'all come in, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give y'all a quick little room tour. It ain't it ain't much, but you know it's something. But uh, oh my face is oily. As soon as you come through the door, um, they got like this little beverage center, which they got a Keurig, which that's nice. They got some coffee stuff, so I'll probably make me some coffee in the morning. Then the restroom is right here. So this is like a TV screen. There's a remote for it. But this is the restroom. Then come out the restroom. They got this little closet in here. Then come out. They got like a lounge chair with it, like a little ottoman or something. Um, Cordell's about to iron. Nice big flat screen TV. That's one thing I do like about it. And then we got this beautiful, amazing view of downtown Dallas. There is the ball or the reunion tower right there. Um, I like, okay, so there's a restaurant up in that ball up there at the top. It's called, it was Wolfgang Puck's um, restaurant, but after COVID hit, it never kind of just reopened. Like I think if it did open, it only opened for like a few, um, it only opened for like a few weeks or months or whatever. Um, but I know I was trying to schedule for me and Cordell to go there for our uh, anniversary. And I was looking it up on the, menu, uh, on the website and they said it was closed and you could just take tours there and you couldn't like eat at the restaurant. So that was a bummer, but, but yeah, y'all. So right now we are about to get dressed. We have dinner reservations. I don't know where we're going. I told him not to tell me because I want to be surprised. So she don't like the food, she can kiss my tail. He gonna get his ass whipped. He know he know me. He know what I like. No, nah, you said I want to experience. That don't mean you want to experience no good ass food. You just want to experience. Boy, shut your ass. So hey, I'm give you experience. Yeah. But y'all, so now that I'm up here in Dallas, I totally forgot that my birthday weekend is a busy weekend for Dallas. Um, it is when Gremlin play Prairie View. Um, then on top of that, oh, not to mention, um, you know, the fair is his first week of opening. Um, first day, ain't it? And then not to mention tomorrow, the Cowboys play at home. So that's why I'm just like, bruh, there is so much going on. And then I saw somebody downstairs in the hotel lobby with um, like their cap and gown on. So I think they're hosting like a graduation um, downstairs. But it's really just a lot of people. And even at the mall, y'all, like I was at the mall and girl, I ain't get nothing. Like nothing. It's not because I didn't want to. No, I wanted to buy stuff, but it just wasn't nothing there for me to buy. Like I really wanted to get some um, like some Bottega sandal shoes, but like they didn't have my size. That's all you need to say. Boy, hush. <laughs> and then um, I went to Aritzia, but the prices in Aritzia, like if I don't absolutely love the piece, then I'm not gonna spend that type of money in Aritzia because the price for one of the little dresses that I thought was cute in there, girl, was $128. Like, mm -mm. <laughs> Yes, that's how much that damn dress was. Y'all got me fucked up. I'm not gonna pay for that. I am about to just try to get everything situated because the time right now is, what's the time? I don't know. I ain't got my phone on it. Phone mm -hmm. over there. Let me see. The time right now 
is 6.48, dinner reservations are at 8. So that means we got about a good hour before, which I gotta curl my hair a little bit more. I want a little bit more curls in it. Um, definitely take this makeup off. I got a shower. Um, yeah. So your girl got a lot to do. But yeah, y'all, like just being around all these people really is just, it just really makes me really just appreciate being in the country because in the country if i need to go somewhere boom bam i'm there you get what i'm saying whereas in like dallas i was fighting this all this traffic and stuff like that and then people can't drive and then like you know so many people being at the mall there was nowhere to park it was so packed everybody was just like like, I don't know. And then I, I, I think another reason why I just wasn't feeling it was because I really did not see anything that I wanted to buy. And the only one thing that I really wanted to buy was the Bottega sandals. Um, but I tried them on, right? And so the size that I actually wear, which in that shoe I wear a 41, the guy was like, yeah, we don't have that size. And then so he was like, um, but try on the 40. So I tried on the 40 and it didn't even fit my foot i was just over it at that point and then um but yeah i just want to make for sure that i can fit that shoe before i actually buy it online because the little strap part at the front of it which i'm gonna insert a picture but the little strap uh, part right there at the front of the toes um it has like it, it just was putting too much pressure on my toes across the top like the strap was so that's why I was like, I don't know if I should even order the shoe now because I don't want to order the shoe. And then all of a sudden, I don't like the way the strap feels across the, uh, the top of my toes. So hopefully this food is good and can put me in a better mood because... Nah, I'm going to get drunk. You be in whatever mood you want. I'm going to get drunk. Boy, shut your ass up. But yeah, either way, I ain't too pressed about it at all, really, because guess what? going to the Cowboys game. And that's really, like, that's really right there what I'm anticipating is the Cowboys game. If y'all don't know, I love the Cowboys and my Cowboys can do no wrong. Nah, let me stop. They really can. They really be fucking up at times. amazing top 10 it's a big dog probably there. the absolute best restaurant i've ever been to and that's not that's that's not even just trying to cap for you to have been to a lot that's just really just saying like this this restaurant was like really fucking good i, had but I will say drinks. make sure that y'all go ahead and uh get online and uh book your reservation so you can get the experience and pay extra or whatever you go do because uh showing up there a lot of people be waiting 
But they do got like a little DJ in it, like a little waiting area, though. Know, so I realized that they only have the DJ on uh, weekends, and they yeah. do have brunch on Sundays. But um, but yeah, y'all, like it was the absolute best food. So for the appetizer, we got Shout the out Snapchat. That's um, where I stole it from. <laughs> no TikTok. TikTok. Yeah. yeah. My bad, Snapchat. Scratch so, out. Uh, TikTok. I don't even know the first name of the lobster or whatever, but I just know it started with an A something lobster, but then like when Girl, I read the description, crab, lobster, it said like um it that said fried lobster. Anywhere. So it was fried lobster with a ball and then it had like roasted uh cauliflower, which I've never really I've had cauliflower mashed potatoes. I've never really had cauliflower. Um so the, the corn side that I had was fire. Yes. So the roasted cauliflower was really, really good with the uh, fried lobster, little balls or whatever. So those are really good. And then um, we got a prime filet mignon, eight ounce. Um, that was cooked to perfection. And you know how sometimes you can get medium well and then it'd be like too well done or whatever. So um, it was. this was really, really good. So... Um, so we got that and then we got a side which i got the um homemade mashed potatoes cordell got the homemade mashed potatoes and the creamy corn okay so the reason why i didn't get the creamy corn because i was like mm, it's probably just gonna be like some whack type of corn or whatever no it was wild. like mexican corn but like turned fancy like That's i sweet. am yes but not too sweet Yes, it was like it had bacon perfect. in it. But you can taste the it bacon was like that. So perfect. Man, that shit was fire. I'll just want to go give me a side of that shit. I'm trying to tell you. We I kept digging in shit. Cordell's uh, you know, little side because yeah, with a greedy ass. it was just so good. So the creamy corn was good. The loaded mashed potatoes was soft and perfect and fluffy. The filet mignon was perfect. It wasn't too well done because I like my steak well done. Well, I take the back. I like my steak medium, medium well, well not well, well done. done. That's um, damn near eating charcoal. But some people don't seem to understand that medium well means not well done. But they, they hit it spot on. And then for dessert, Cordell got the what creme brulee, uh, creme brulee, uh, cheesecake, raspberry. You want to do the? You want to do that? Yeah, we'll do that. Damn. No, not right that. now though. Not right now. Uh -oh. Um. So. You want to ride on a horse and carriage around through Dallas town, downtown? See? Sure, like, baby. Yeah. If you want to do it, then I don't come know on. where to go now. Me I'm neither. Time. <laughs> Jeez. So, but yeah. Um. So Cordell for dessert got the creme brulee with raspberry. Um, I got the triple chocolate cake, which it was really good. I love chocolate Mine was cake. Better, though. If y'all right. don't know, um, they, they had that damn, shit. this our hotel right here. Yeah, we already there. We already back at the we hotel. Y'all like look. Right, out of sight, I'm throw, hopped out, looking good, diamond in the wood. But yeah, so I cannot say it enough. This restaurant was the absolute best. It is inside the W Hotel in downtown Dallas. It is called Villa. Uh, oh shit, I almost Villa the Pass. This beach up home. It's a uh, Villa Azure. Azure, Azure or Allure. I don't know, y'all. I'm going to have it listed down below. But like he said, he found it on TikTok. And like for me, I told him I just pretty much wanted a experience. She didn't want me to tell her where we was going, y'all. So I just like, fuck it. I'm a wing. I'm like, like what are you doing, boy? But yeah, I didn't want him I to tell me where. Side. I don't need you driving. <laughs> but I didn't want him to tell me where we were going. I really wanted to be surprised. So. And I blew out the water. He definitely blew me out the water. And then the fact that the food was amazing. And y'all, it wasn't me about to be late this time. I was ready. Carlisha was about to make us late. Let me pay $100 for some late-ass shit. Oh, that's another thing. I did not know that you had to pay $100 it's just for... It's 50 per person, but it's... A, I don't know. I ain't even checked the card. I ain't even really fucked up about it. But, you know, I think they say it's a, to reserve it ahead of time online. It's 50 per person. Now, I don't know if that's 50 just to hold it or is that's 50, like, non-refundable. I ain't even read that for. I just like, all right, fuck it. I'm doing it anyway. Well, baby, just know... I'm going to put it like this... Please let this be a um, 
birthday event, like something special nah, going on or something like that. Out there. Is, well, baby, I ain't even gonna lie. Way. I ain't even gonna lie. Our meal and the reservation. About four, four fifty. We it was four hundred and fifty dollars. I'm not so even gonna hold y'all. I'm not even gonna fake. I'm not that's even not, capping. That's not even no I'm tip just, of the uh the damn I'm ballet. just being honest. About four fifty. I feel fitted. You had to pay the valet just to go to the restaurant. Oh, God. Damn, then on top of that, I you had to uh, pay for your reservation, which that was $100, 50 per person. And then our food plus the waiter's tip, like, I'm I'm, I'm not even kidding y'all. Like, I don't try to put that, like, whole Bro, little vibe. I don't know where the, uh, oh, if not, I got the room key. Yeah, I don't know where the room key is. Can I lose it? Damn, damn, you losing shit like that? Yeah. Damn. But yeah, so um, I really try not to like, really just try to go Cordell before this thing go down. It's it's time. Crazy. Chill out. Give me the key. I got it. You already lost the first key. Well, child, take the key. It don't matter. Man. Long as we in, we here now. Nah, you lost a damn key. You I normally did. never lose the, shit. I think I left in the damn seat at the restaurant. What I really try to do is just bring y'all the real, honestly. I don't try to sugarcoat shit. I don't try to fluff shit to make it sound better or whatever the case may be. No. I just want your head to drink. <laughs> That's I, the only reason I did that. I can't fucking stand this wench. I really Damn, just can't. Right there. there. We can get in there. I want to get in there. Give me that no, because that truck. Man, we gonna, you can't we get up be, in there. Man, you this, nigga be finna make, this nigga finna make. This nigga finna wreck my shit. Big, big. But yeah, so. I paid for it. I paid for it anyway. I just paid for it. Shit. You ain't paid for shit. All right, where you, where you working at? Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Don't fucking play with me. Yeah. This nigga can't fucking drive in that way. But anyway, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you can't see shit, beep, can beep, you? Beep, 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 boom. You can't see shit. But y'all, I had the best birthday. I really did. Shout out to the hubs because You're welcome. He really did his thing because I really thought that like I was gonna be comfortable with just chilling at the house like I said at the house. Fake just chilling at the room and watching college football. But girl, I'm glad that I went out to this little restaurant, baby, because it was a whole little vibe. Like this is I know if y'all watch me, my favorite restaurant used to be Glorious. And do y'all hear me? I say it used to be. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. And the food good. Damn, and the girl the got them good. little hoochie mama so, shorts on. Look at her. Look, he ready she ain't got no strange. shoes she on She ready either. to do some strange for a little piece of change. Oh, Lord. Look, he like, damn, girl. Come on, man. Hold on, y'all. Let me show y'all what we looking at. Y'all, what, what in the world? She ready. Come on, oh, now. bottom of the booty cheek gone, hanging out. And then you ain't got nobody's shoes on. I'm like, yeah, grip that ass. Don't don't be petty like that. Man, what are you gonna do? She, I wish she would. He better know some martial arts. I was shocked, honey. I was in tears almost, and it has a white refrigerator. I was like, oh, oh, not a white refrigerator, girl. Please put your shoes on. Let's go find you a home, honey. Oh, Lord. Good morning, y'all. So the time is 8.18 and it is Cowboys Day. It is um, October 2nd. Um, the Cowboys play today at 12. My stepson Avery is being dropped off this morning to the hotel. Um, and then we're gonna meet my family and we're gonna head to the game. But we're trying to get there super, super early because if you guys haven't been to the Cowboy Stadium, they have like food, restaurants, um, and they have like a um, like a, a gift shop, but it's like a super big, like it's an actual store. Um, but yeah, they have all of that inside the stadium. So I wanted to go super early so that way we can get like jerseys and things like that because the jersey that the jerseys that I have, I have Miles Austin. If you're an old Cowboys fan, let me know down in the comments if you know who Miles Austin was. I got him. He was number 19. 
Um, and then I got Des Bryant, of course, 88, um, which is the one that I bought here um, to wear today. So if I don't find a jersey in the gift shop, then I'll just wear my 88 for Des Bryant because I still rock with Des Bryant and I still want y'all to know he caught that ball. I rock that if all else fails at the uh, gift shop. And then I have a Dak Prescott jersey. But y'all know Dak Prescott is hurt, and yeah, so I don't, I'm not, I'm, I'm going to be honest, I'm not going to get a Cooper Rush jersey, I'm not. If anything, I would get a um, C.D. Lamb jersey, number 88 again, um, or a Micah Parsons, because Micah Parsons is really, really good um, defensively, like he's like, top tier or a uh, digs which he makes a lot of like interceptions if you guys watch the cowboys i don't know but um but yeah so we're gonna meet our family at the starbucks and we're gonna get some uh matcha teas and stuff like that like if y'all have not tried that matcha teas please go and try it i said it in my last vlog i get my matcha tea with three pumps of brown sugar syrup and i also get it with um i get it with i always oh okay i get it with three pumps of brown sugar syrup and oat milk with light ice so that's how i get mine so but yeah that's what we are about to do y'all i'm just in this bed still i need to really be getting up and doing my makeup and stuff like that in my hair because yeah it's gonna take a little minute Yesterday, we cut it real close, like real, real close. Like, I'm over here thinking like we had an hour to get ready, and <laughs> we didn't. It didn't feel like it was an hour, but but yeah, y'all, let me show y'all my view this morning. So, good morning, Dallas. That go the ball or the reunion tower up there. Um, but yeah, so Arlington is that way. Okay, so can see through that mirror, but. they can't really see through this mirror, boy. Okay. But yeah, so we gonna be here. <laughs>
Yeah. Remind us next time not to take the BMW. When we the got BMW. these fools. Oh, turn it down so I don't get copyright. Well, if you want a dog in here, it would be all right. Paco, Paco, yeah. Paco. I can eat too. Say what's up, Jim. What's up? What's up? So y'all, the game was good. Of course, we won against the Commanders. We are. I won on DraftKings too. He won on DraftKings. Even though there isn't um, sports betting in Texas, we stay so close to the line, the Louisiana line. So we uh, go there, place our bets for the week, and yeah. But my makeup is so oily, so oily. I don't know what's been going on with my skin. It's been being really oily. It really have. This nigga right here get on my nerves. I'll show you two. Tell them. Tell them. Tell them something they need to know. No. Not what they want to no. hear. Y'all, I can't even vlog. My own kids is in the background. Look, look at him. Look at him. Hi. <laughs> And this today, one right today. here. Boy, yeah. we were sitting by doing? some uh, Commander fans. And baby, they, they, they no stop baby. Us. And they were just really thinking they were really gonna win, child. You said but anyway, so we are about to all get food. We, of That's course, not, you know, no, we do no, our no, usual no, stop no, at uh, sure. the Nike outlet. They didn't have nothing. And then the little stuff that I did want, I couldn't buy my size. So, of course. But yeah, a lot of the stuff that they had there was like yeah, just barbecue. summer stuff. Barbecue? Um, it barbecue, wasn't right? any, right. it wasn't Thank any um, winter stuff out just yet. So, Mom, that was you one. Let me tell you Yeah. Paco bit him. He made a hole. Who bit who? Who? Paco bit my socks at the Papa house. Because I told well, him to stop jumping everywhere. But yeah. <laughs>